F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fams? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request for views. We're friend request friends to watch The Wire season one, episode seven, titled one arrest <laughs> maybe maybe these taps on these phones the wires the beepers all that is probably gonna catch up to somebody and who that somebody is i don't know man <laughs> you got anybody in mind who you think might be getting arrested today for me um I, I I was hoping you wouldn't ask me that because I don't man. Like, who could it be, man? D. Like I, I feel like it's D, D would be the the the. See, it's crazy you say that because the reason I don't think it's D is because everything points towards it being D. So I, <laughs> I feel like they gonna like twist our arm a little bit here. But D would be like the the most plausible person because they they already building all this shit remember Rollins try to run in on them and, yeah but and the, arrest them the reason i say is because yeah because they already build up on it like you know what i'm saying so it's like we already been through it with him already i feel like this is probably somebody else yeah it's gotta be it's definitely not gonna be bodie because bodie be in a back seats head ass i don't know nah, man. Not. I, don't know. I don't know either man that title got me stumped stumped mm -hmm. We're not going to hold you here any longer. We're just going to dive right into this episode. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe, okay? The goal is 10K. Only way we're going to get there is if you click that button. Also, click that bell so you get notified when we go live. Let's get it. The wire. The wire. Just to let y'all know. The Sopranos will be coming out. Just be patient, all right? Little technical mm. difficulties, all right? Just wanted to put Wait, that out Sopranos there. Sopranos coming out before this? Stuff? It's not. Uh. <laughs> Little man strapped, huh? mm. you on the way down. Yeah, we straight in for fresh on the latest tomorrow. For real. Down from up north. He's saying they're sold out in the low rises. So tomorrow they're going to start fresh with a new package. Mm. That's what you hear? Listen again. Let's go, Prez. Low man. We need a low-rise pit. You all the way down. It's down to scraps on the last package. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, there's going to be a re-up of four G-packs in low-rise court. Stankum is on the re-up, and it's going to go down around noon. Stankum. You sure? Stankum's the bust. I should have said that, motherfucker. Actually, I was thinking bird, to be honest. I was thinking I was about Stankum's, but... Turn it upside down. You sit here looking at beeper messages for five hours at a time? Hey. I don't know. It's kind of fun figuring shit out. Nice. Yo, that's his calling, man. Yep. Keep Prez in the office. That man be with the Rubik's that's Cubes. That's super clever because you just turn the beeper upside down, right? And then boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going hard with they shit. Yeah. I like it. A man must have a cold. Bunk. Bunk. Okay, You're bunk. Help me out here, Sandy. These are all yours, and they're all open, Sandy. Last year, your clearance rate was 40%. This year, it's less than that. <laughs> it's not my job to fuck another cop. Mm. Suck. Not That's your true. job. <laughs> Either bring me something or make no, no, nothing. I have a job. Or go out there and do your job. Pick a file. Any file. Pick a murder, motherfuckers. For real, lazy ass. Man, do your job, scrub. Now, the runner's gonna bolt. I got the runner. You stay with Stinkum. No. I got the runner. He takes Stink? No. You both take the runner. And Stink gets away. You snatch the runner, we stick a hook in him, and go back to the fishing hole. Okay. In between the wiretap and the runner bolting from the truck, we got a charge on Stinkum anytime we want it. That's good. There we go. That's real good. Strip club, a couple of West Side laundromats, a AAA rated towing company, Damn. a funeral parlor. Damn. Understand Barksdale's name is on nothing. He's always a step or two removed. You misspelled culpable. And you're confusing then and then. 
He has to clean it up. Mm. Thanks, Teach. I mean, it's great that you're going through every word. Not to be confused with T-H-A. Damn. Why are you going so hard on him right now? And Rhonda is smarter than Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's like a... Damn. Demise. I think I'll go see a man about a dog. Man, for real. <laughs> The cardiac phone. I, do, I, I love that scene a lot. Well, 14. What's up? Eastbound on Preston. The definition of a young boy ride shotgun. He ill grilling, bro. Mean mugging. I feel like you can't, you can't do shit like this nowadays. <laughs> there you go. Yo. Ooh. He did a little tuck and roll. You seen that? Yo, is that Scrappy? That shit was official. He been training. No, Fuck. no, don't do it. Okay. Oh, I, thought he was I was about chase. to say, me too. Oh, oh my God. He's smart. Mm. Oh. <laughs> she was on the other end. Yep. And look. Oh, he oh. tripped. It's a wrap. He yep, left the baggie. Leave the ba Damn. <clears throat> Get the bag. Look, they on this fool. Mmm, hit him with it. <laughs> he said, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Look at all that work. Man. All that huh. work gone. Rawls <laughs> trying to close this thing down last week. Blow the wiretap by charging some weak sister murders. What stopped him? Daniels. Daniels? I couldn't believe it either. Well, you got a friend here. Okay. Worst comes to worst. Perlman goes to her bosses. State's attorney's office still has some love for you, Jimmy. All due respect, I'm starting to worry more about the people who claim to love me than the ones that don't. <laughs> Catching all of this. <laughs> you like, yep, definitely want to listen in on this one. Where Prez at, man? Do they do they have the location of the telephone spot? Yep. Now? Yep. Down. Yep, get your ass out there. They on it. They really on it right now, yo. I was just going to say, why did Steakum not go further away, man? They haven't even called back yet. He about to catch all of them. Freeman. There's your last Steakum. We lost four. Yeah, why the fuck? Hmm. I'll talk to you later. For real. Hot. Got him. <laughs> Spotted him and everything. And look at this. You think I can just pull look at this one. Yeah, you trying to solve a murder over there. <laughs> <laughs> what card you got? You sick heartless bastard. Come on, come on. Give me the card. <laughs> The sergeant out here bullying his fucking. Well, I'm glad he bullying this reports. dude. He deserves Man. it. Lick this finger before you touch his shoulder. Madam Laurie, you scoff. <laughs> See a fortune teller. This dumbass gonna call that shit. Give her a call. He died desperate. <laughs> As hell. <laughs> I mean, that's better than trying to take down McNulty, though. You need some help with that? I'm all right. I'm all right. Please. It's our pleasure. Police, right? Afraid so, man. About the murder a while back, right? Maintenance man. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Ma'am? I need to pull one out. Yeah, which one? Shake it off in treatment, go to some meetings, and pee when they tell you to pee. No jail. No jail. I'm out right now. As soon as you're processed. Damn. Yeah, bubs look terrible. Hell yeah. So. Do you know the man who did it? No, sir. Mm -hmm. What did he look like? Who? The bad guy. Light mm -hmm. skin, medium height. Bad guy. Didn't have no meat on him. This close? No. Like that? Yeah. 
That's about right. Ma'am, please, don't be afraid. From where I was sitting, his back was to me. Mm. Light skin and not too much not too weight much on meat on it. Yeah, not too so much meat on so. Hmm. It happened like you said. Like it was a plan. It was a plan. Just <laughs> <You tell> me. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a plan. What's the apartment? Oh, that's the kid that he... Hey, kid, what apartment? Yep, so he Come is. on, kid. What's oh. the apartment? You put it together before I did. Well, he looking right in his face, yep. too. That's the reason why. It was just like right there. Yep, get up, Prez. Get your ass out of there. Right, at least he went and told somebody. He told Daniels, too. He had to. Isn't that like a conflict of interest or something like I that? I mean, I'm pretty sure, but it's just... Prez is just surprising me. Every scene, like, just <laughs> his growth is it's immaculate. <laughs> Thing is, I feel like I owe you something here. So I'm asking how you want to carry this. You come see me. Might be tomorrow, might not be for a while. But when you think you're ready for something different, you give me a call. Hmm. I'll remember. Motherfucker thinking he can pimp me over a candy bar. <laughs> Wow, he actually went stupid. Irish, yeah. Yeah. Hey, he Italian. San Angelo. Got the little Alpine Shepherd boy. You sure not, Sammy? Go to the victim's grave. Bury the statue. Wait an hour, a full hour. Hold it to your ear. And he tells me who did it? What is this fantastical mystery shit they got? They got this, this man going on a crazy. RPG on a side sci quest. Bruh, they turned <laughs> this shit to sci-fi. <laughs> this shit about to be crazy. Oh, it's like, it's Where's Nadine this fine evening? Huh. Gainesville, been down in Florida at her sister's all damn week. <laughs> Lack of pussy to change even a good man's demeanor. <laughs> the uh, mumbles don't nobody know about the mumbles man. sometimes you just you stupid pop quiz decide maybe state senator mm. clay davis from the 39th district you never make major at this rate huh. <laughs> So you got to know who the brown knows to, brother. Excuse me while I do my duty and kiss some senatorial. Okay. Exactly. You got to know who the brown knows, <laughs> brother. You ain't going to make major of yours. Ay, Dios mio. The politicking. Man. Credit me for that, man. Did you put a sign? No. Need that back when the meeting's over. And if you don't stay, we don't sign it. Hmm. Today's speaker's going to be Waylon. Who, if you come to these meetings, you have to know. <laughs> Let's go away, Lynn. It's good to be here. It's good to be anywhere, clean. Yeah. Even Balmer. <laughs> but my disease is out there in that parking lot doing push-ups on steroids, waiting for the chance to kick my ass up and down the street again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I told myself? I said, Waylon, you're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I know I got one more high left in me, but I huh. doubt very seriously if I have one more recovery. Mm. Ooh. It's a hell of a line. If you're here, so am I. <laughs> I see why we got to know this man. He's a great speaker. Does anybody have 24 hours or a sincere desire to live? Yeah, all right. Where you stand? Yeah, bro. That boy finna get clean before this show. Off. Yeah, we shoved off this morning. Did you not hear him or have a desire to want to change their life? Exactly. He about to stop shoving off, fool. Bernie Williams just doubled, though. They always let the Yankees back into it. Always. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 
song was just I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Mala Dennis. Good days work. Good days work. What about the lime system? That it work? Yes, indeed. Said so most of this good shit around the way, but some of it, like that art and all, I might have to run it up New York. Name's Damian Price. Yes, thank you. I mostly go by Day Day. Who is this gangster? You talking about hitting licks and shit? But I mostly go by Lieutenant. Exactly. Thank you. Correct yourself, brother. Look at bringing the rubbers. <laughs> Come on, Day Day. It made himself look like a fool already. Crazy. Crazy as hell. Yeah. Take it off. Rub him again. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 together. Got you, Jimmy. Too fucking late to do anything else. You gonna be one ass kissing white man. No way I respect you so much, Bunk. Mm -mm. It's cause when it came time for you to fuck me, you were very gentle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I knew it was your first time. <laughs> I wanted to make that shit special. It was, man. It fucking was. It fucking was. <laughs> oh my god. They fucked up right now. <laughs> you know they is. Hey, D. You get a chance, man. Let me pull your coat this up. I got a little move we might could do. Who's snitching? Nobody. Cause you showing that man, you done had to stick up, then to jump out, not even running up on stage. My crew, we tight. So go down there today and tell them hoppers you got working for you down there that the shit is about to change. Until the shit is straight, the pit is dead. Hmm. Mm. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. You ain't heard nothing from the knockos yet, right? Dang. They yeah, catch smart. four packs. Something is up, man. Mm -hmm. Something is definitely up. I like that. I like that. They cracking down. Mm-hmm. Them two is freaks, yo. Stash finding motherfuckers pop the packers from nowhere. Who are you talking? Skinny black motherfucking that ass ugly knocko. Batman robbing, yo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> They happy. Batman and Robin. I'm Batman. I don't think so. Batman's white. And Robin's black. Exactly, dummy. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hopper. You're the ass ugly white guy. We look oh. into the gun. Yeah. And then we tag team Bird. If we get him with the gun, then we take it federal. Five years minimum. And he's got prior felonies. It's a lot more. We got an address we want to hit? <laughs> he actually did it. Hey, he waiting that over. <clears throat> no cheating, no rushing, bro. You sit there and you wait. Oh, I was about to say, what the fuck? Well, if anybody got a problem with me spending time with y'all, I'd be much obliged to stick my gun straight in their mouth. Mm. Omar don't care. That's what I say. He don't care. He... Dangerous. So what up? Y'all fitting the snatcher from out here or what? That's the plan. He don't pack down here. None of them do. And that's the rule. Now, if I was hunting Mr. Bird, I would consider the best package right now to be the Red Dilly. That's over there in Carrollton. That's if I happen to be constabulating like y'all. Constabulating. When y'all run up on him, y'all best be more. Mm. Careful, that is. Okay, mm. I was about to say. He got that insight. Hey, yo, poop. Never get high on your own supply. Where Wallace been at, man? I don't know. Take care of them kids. He in the wind, yo. Wallace been fucked up since they got that sticker boy, you know? Something right. Come on over. Man. New Orleans. They offering weight, D. Oh, shit. My uncle know about it? Nope. Exactly. And that's where you want to stop. But you know, I don't have what you got right here with the distribution. You see what I'm saying? We do an even split on what comes back. 
bro. Mm. Come on, D, you mm. smarter than this. Yeah, let me think on it, all right? Finally get some ends for us. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah. And that's exactly the motivation. So you don't, don't, don't. I want him to do it, but at the same time, it's like, damn, this could be his uncle's doing, like. Or it could just be something that's going to backfire on their ass. That too, yeah. It's, too, it's too. way too hot for them to do this shit right now. Okay, Wallace. Wallace. What's up, man? Oh. That's not Wallace. That's definitely Wallace, bro. Oh, man. Why are they going to do me like this? I thought that shit was supposed to keep you up. What happened? Oh, it's this dude. Go. Mr. Freeman. Yo, hey, that was slick. You mm. would never would have been able to see that. That was some real undercover shit right there. That was fire. That man hit him with the spinning back. You seen like that? You seen that? Bottle in his bottle shit. for real. <laughs> I wish so we would have had that in a replay slow motion. Like I thought it was one eyed Willie, but his bird is the one to rest. Mm -hmm. That's the one to rest. Yep, it is. I got no cell phones, no house phones, neither. Right? Nah, man, nothing but these pages. And them pay boxes over there to sit. Mmm. There you go, Bell. Think. All right, tell them motherfuckers up. Hmm. Babe, tell them motherfuckers up. Come on, man. Let's go. Damn. This is gonna be fun. Damn, they about, <sighs> they about to kick this dude off the phone, though. And <laughs> yeah, Wallace is getting high, man. Come off his own on. supply. Someone in the crew is getting high. Hmm. <laughs> Gotcha. Fuck you, fat man. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck you, fat man. Fuck you. I thought we were friends. You got one chance, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> you roll back on the people you killed William Gant for, or you're gonna eat the whole meal. Fucking charm of this one. For real, he is going crazy. Biatch. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded like Jesse in there now. He said, bitch, biatch. I mean, don't get it twisted. I do some dirt, too, but I ain't never put my gun on nobody who wasn't in the game. Mm. A man must have a code. There we go. I've been waiting for you to say it, Bunk. I thought you was going to say it in the bar. He said it to fucking Omar. That just solidifies Omar's character even more. <laughs> no wonder why everybody love this dude. You go to Edmondson, right? Yeah, he was ahead of me. Lacrosse, man. Oh, show. Yeah. <laughs> I was all Metro Attack. Prep school boys used to pee themselves when they see the old bunk coming at them, you know? <laughs> wow. Look at that. Two different sides. Seeing as how you being all charitable with your recollections. What else you got in the way of open murders? Mm. Going to Barksdale? Going anywhere. Mmm. Yo, they about to beat the fuck out this dude. He's Police still give me a stood chance, up. Right? Yo, come on, man. Don't do me like that, man. He still stood up, though. Oh. Oh. You know what his big ass yep. here. He just got to sit on him while they beating him. Hey, you know he's getting his. He's like, I got to get mine. Bro, sure know how to bring it out of people, don't he? <laughs> you know all that shit he was talking who the fuck is Denise Redding? Mm. I was gonna say his name. <laughs> Take it with our compliments. Hmm. <laughs> Sanny, what are you doing downtown this time of night? Fuck the gypsy shit. These are the guys that saved your ass right here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go, Jay Bird. Mm. Got that man a cup of coffee. He got McNulty's a cup. Hey, Jimmy. Thank you. We got to talk, man. Mm. Oh, nice. He's nice. going to tell him. Let's yes. go. Yes. 
I knew I was gonna say after this episode I like Mike, bro, because he ain't he ain't give McNulty up yet. He's trying to get he some late night. The moment he opened that door. Mm-hmm. Moment he opened that door, he got he gonna snuff him like Amon did over his cousin. He trying to get some late night. They're gonna do me. I love this fucking job. They're gonna do me. He said he loves this shit. That's crazy. He never said that before. Come on, you can tell. I mean, so he was the he was the first dedicated one. Nah, Freeman was. That's why they had his ass in that whatever they had him. In. He said Freeman. Freeman was. He's a cretin. Reaching. He's a leeching. I catch you with that backhand with the fucking mouth bottle in the bag. You're gonna, you're gonna, see, you're gonna see the cretin here. All right. There we have it. The Wire season one, episode seven in the books. Yeah, man, another another great episode, man, from The Wire. Gotta say, man, they they really gearing up towards this towards this finale. Not only the finale, did they just really they playing the car as well, man? At least <clears throat> the ones who are investigating, uh, you know, Barksdale. You know they they doing they they doing their thing all around. Everybody right now is really pulling their weight, something that we didn't see in the beginning, and we even had someone kind of turn a new leaf in this episode, which was uh something I didn't expect to be honest. So, uh, what's your thoughts about this episode, for me? I liked it. They had me in the first half. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was like, I was I didn't know how I felt. I was like, yeah, I, like am I? Did I come in too excited and I'm not paying attention? Because that's one thing about The Wire, man. You really do got to kind of shut the fuck up sometimes. Eh? Cause you do. Everybody talking cold, bro. Ain't nobody talking straight. Just English in this shit. Everything is coded and political and et cetera and this and yep. that. Um, that's from Barksdale's crew to the to the police. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, So mm-hmm. you got to pay attention. So I feel like in the first half, I was a little kind of like... What's going on here? But this episode was cracked, though. It was. Definitely cracked. I, I definitely enjoyed this one. We got... Yeah, we had a lot going on, man. We got two arrests, even though they want to call it one. That's fine. We'll take that. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. They they moving on the Barksdale crew. They got them boys out there sweating. So, I'm, I'm juiced, man, because this is a lot more progression than I thought they was going to make in this first season, just from the way it started. Like, mm-hmm. it was all over the place. They trying to get the leadership in line yeah. and, and making sure they not fucking fumbling the case. Uh, they had five bad cops on the crew. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I didn't like I'm I'm glad to see these boys doing what they doing, man. They they holding it down. They, they holding are holding it down. it down. But what's crazy about this whole process, right, is how much this process is in order to, you know, just to. To catch these fools, like look at everything they gotta go through just to catch Barstow. Like this is Yeah. This is excessive to the max. Like it is. Which you know is what's crazy. one thing I would like? They probably do do it too, and maybe I'm just not paying good enough attention. Mm-hmm. But I would I would like a better grasp on the times that's that's passed already. Mm. Cause I feel like they'd had this investigation has to have been taking months already out of their life, man. I don't like, know, man. I don't think it's that much time to be honest. It, I don't think it. Uh, I was all saying, the hoops they jumping through, fucking going to the judge, judge going to this girl, this girl going to this cat, all these, all these paperwork they got to get signed, warrants, uh, afferandums. I'm gonna put my time. Other. I, I I do think it's it's months though, right? But I mm-hmm. think the most two three months from episode one. Hell, it got to be six to eight. It's I don't gotta, know, but that that would be nice though, right? A nice little time. Right? Yeah, it's not like super yeah. important, but yeah. it just kind of keeps me like, it can, and and they probably do drop little hints here and there where it can help you, you know, string along the time. But yeah. I just haven't been paying good enough attention. But you know, nothing too crazy. I I would just every once in a while like to know, like, damn, this how much time's been going since day one? Because again, I, I'm really enjoying the progression of the crew, man. The 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 unit they. 
They going hard. Yeah, they really are. Um, for me, I have to say, man, the, the thing that stands out the, the most, I probably have to say is, you know, it's the one and only, man, McNulty and his partner on um, Bunk. I think them two together are really great in this show, like, yeah. and it shows through the conversations that they have with one another, and that whole bar scene that they had was, in my opinion, was great. Um, yeah, man, they they're doing a lot with these two characters that I I, I can't wait to see where they where their dynamic is gonna be, you know, in the next, you know, these next couple of seasons where they're gonna fall in place, like, because already they're they're outstanding characters, so. I'm really curious to see where they're gonna where, where they're gonna he, um, head with these characters. Um. <laughs> Every man has a code, so I would mm. say for me, there was a lot of things that kind of stuck out. Like Wallace's story definitely jumped out for me, man. Y'all already know, man. Little small young Michael piece. B. Jordan, like definitely a small piece, but seeing him do drugs, like because we I seen him spiraling that. out. I wasn't me neither, like at all. Like and we this... seen him spiraling out, having the PTSD, but. Drugs was nowhere in the picture for me, at least. Like, so that was crazy to see because it just makes everything look worse with the whole things that's going on at the low rises. Like, especially you know Stringer and Avon asking who's anybody snitching? Is anybody doing drugs? That's against the rules and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, and and it just sucks because I was over there talking about poop on the chopping chopping block, but now Wallace over here. Fucking shit up, man. He making me think that poop gonna make it, and Wallace gonna be on that damn chopping block, man. So my youngin gotta, he gotta get it together, man. Bodie said he in the win. He might be right, man. That boy, he, that boy in the win. And it well, was a crazy episode to see Wallace do drugs for the first time because we seen Bubs and his homie go to AA for the first time, like. So they need to stop playing with shit like that, man. <laughs> like, damn. Whoa, Wallace nah. don't got a desire to go another twenty four. Nah, that was that. That's some real shit, though. It, it's crazy that they escalated it from last episode to this episode that quickly. Like, you know, it, like you said, you see him going through it last episode, but this really just shows you how far in the hole he really is right now. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy. Yeah, I. I don't know what's gonna happen with his character. That's gonna be wild. Dude. And you are right. Man. It's starting to shift towards him a little bit. But so far it seems like he he he's kept it on the wrap. So as long as he could continue doing that and not, you know, have it affect affect his life, then maybe he could get through this. But I mean it's already affecting affecting his life. His homies asking where he's at, Poot talking about he don't even come out the room no more. So yeah, we got to keep a close eye on our boy Wallace, man. And then another thing that definitely jumped out is just Omar's character in general. Obviously, he's a great character. Y'all already know that. I don't think y'all need me to say that. Mm. But one thing that was pretty interesting to me personally for this episode was just his his overall... Uh, <clears throat> nah. It's not as surprising anymore. Never mind. Because I was just going to say, just his overall willingness to help out as much as he's been doing. Like, because he gave them enough. But then, like, he gave them even more at the end there. And I was just like, damn, did he really have to do that? But since it was Bird who was connected to that murder, I see why he did it. Because, you know, like he, like he said, Bird really brings the worst out of people. So... Omar let it all. He sang it all for the for the yeah. boys. So he's a he's a very dangerous character because the thing that I was thinking about him this whole time, anyways, when he started working with freaking McNulty and Kima, was even if he is a snitch, who gonna step to that man? And he said that today in in this episode. So I'm just like that makes him such a dangerous piece because basically he could flip whenever he wants. Like he could flip the switch whenever he wants, whether he want to be a snitch or not, whether he want to work with McNulty or not, whether he want to go and start giving Barksdale information like this dude is a he a firecracker son so mm -hmm. we can, we never gonna know his his next move like yeah. I didn't even know he was sitting in the in the in the uh, spec ops with them until they panned the camera yeah. with him and Bunk so mm -hmm. Omar man yeah and I, Omar. I like that conversation between him and Bunk I thought that was was fantastic because you know you got a little insight on his background a little bit you know he's he went to the same school as Bunk did and Look at how, you know what I'm saying? Two completely different, like, lifestyles. 
mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Coming from the same kind of upbringing a little bit. And, and it yep. just goes to show you that, you know, anybody could be in that position, you know, either side. So I, I, I like that. Um, Another thing that kind of jumped out at me was obviously the <clears throat> conversation between, I don't know what that guy name is, but the dude from Orlando, the, 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 the strip joint. Oh, yeah. With him and D. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. conversation oh, right there is. I'm worried. If, if they shut it all down, right, and he comes through and slides them some shit on the side and they still moving when they don't want them to move, yeah, it's not looking good. It, it won't be looking good for D. D would definitely be on the chopping block very soon if that happens, so. I don't think so. No? Nah, I think that again, D is just they got a soft spot for him, especially Barksdale. Barksdale got a soft spot for him. I don't think the rest of the crew really does, but Barksdale, I don't think gonna let a hair get touched on D's head unless he do some wild. Like I, I think that <clears throat> if Barksdale was in fucking uh, Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, or some shit, mm-hmm. D would be his weakness. You know what I'm saying? Like every <laughs> man got their weakness. D is, <laughs> is Barksdale's weakness. Oh, okay. So, so what I think is gonna happen is. The dude is gonna be is gonna take all the is gonna end up getting all the blame for it, and okay. he'll be on the chopping block. Of course, D gonna probably get his ass but, spanked and shit like that because he's got demoted before. Mm-hmm. But like when I when we say chopping block, I'm thinking death. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking game over, snip out well, of here. Yeah, yeah, that's so what I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Think so. That that's something that I'm you know I can't wait to see pan out. Whether he's maybe gonna either. take the offer now or maybe that's something that's gonna come in the near future. I don't know. Maybe don't he know. go and tell Barksdale about it. Like, that's another outcome too. Yeah, that's a whole other outcome too. So, Damn. but I do think that this, the position he's been in since episode one, has been leading to this moment though. So mm. it, it's for me, it's so easy for him to say yes, and I think he is like because okay. you know, like he, he, what was it? I think it was last episode or maybe episode five. Was it last episode or episode? It was one of the. I think it was like these last two where they said they was putting Stinkum somewhere, and D was kind of hurt by that. He was like, Dang, "Oh yeah, he's getting, yeah, he's getting saying? like so he's getting money on the on on the packs." Oh oh yeah yeah, he's salary basically yeah, now. Exactly, like, you know what I'm saying? Like exactly. so so shit like that is definitely mm-hmm. gonna push D to say yes. Um, but yeah. I still don't see that man on the chopping block yet. How long is is this show? Like six seasons, seven seasons? I have no idea to be honest. I know it's he more. Than, it's it, five or more. I know that. Okay, if it's more than five, he making it to at least season four. Man. Uh, at least. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. I don't know, man. It's gonna. It's gonna be a good one, though, man. This. So far, everything is. It's turning up, man. They. It they. Is. They really. They really. They really on point, man. For real. For real. Prez and shit. Um, mm-hmm. Prez. Prez. Yeah. Is awesome. Yep. Press did his thing. Not only did that, um, you know, the the whole little interaction between, you know, the kid that he hurt and stuff like that. Mm. I, I think that he handled that well, you know. Yeah. Even though yeah. it's the reason he's in the situation is because he did something stupid. And yeah. Dumb as fuck. But I'm 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 enjoying the the character development with him and. Uh, I, for, you know, I, I like seeing Daniels on the screen, man. Whenever Daniels on the screen, I, I, I enjoy his character as well. Like, I can't wait to see what else they're going to have with him because, you know, obviously he's going to be bringing the politics side of shit. And he had that, that nice little interaction with the... What, what was he? I can't remember. I, I can't remember his title. I don't... Yeah, I don't... Honest. I yeah. know he ain't a judge or anything like that, but <clears> he's, <throat> he's, he's, he's pretty up there, so... Yeah, he was you chatting know. with Rose... In like two episodes yeah. ago or some shit mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I, I can't yeah, you know, he's just feeding knowledge. them knowledge and, and, and giving them insight. Like, yo, you know, you got to gotta butter some people's bread, you know what I'm saying, to get ahead. Yes. And so, you know, I can't say it enough, man. I'm enjoying this, this series so far. Man. Yeah, I think Daniel got good character development too right now. I think that's mm-hmm. why it's so enjoyable seeing him because we... He's he's kind of like a mysterious character, you know. They they kind of threw that little shit out there where like we should be watching out for his background, but then mm-hmm. they never really yeah. touched on it again. And then exactly. now every time they show him, it's been like good stuff. Like he helped them keep the case on on track. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? He 
He just had that shit down with Kevin, like, and, you know, kind of showed some sincerity there. Like, so, yeah, I agree. I, I, like, I'm loving Daniel's character as well. Prez, ever since he's been in the office. I think Prez is actually a good, a good kind of, uh, <clears throat> like, example of what the right leadership can do, you know, and just putting you in the right position. Like, because mm. a lot of these people who came to this team, they weren't handpicked. Like, they was dumped on the team you know yep. what i'm saying like so they need differently they needed different leadership different partners different just objectives in their re regular day duties to get them to be better basically so like i kind of like that like it shows like like these people they're not just terrible at their jobs but they need the right the they need to be directed they need to be redirected, mm -hmm. redirected. sometimes yep. constantly and consistently Herc and Carver, but still, they need to be redirected. So, I'm loving that about about uh, you know these nah, characters here. You're absolutely right, and a, a great example of that was what you just said, Herc and this dude. Uh, Herc and Carver, man. This dude told him, he's like he he's like, oh okay, so we go after the runner. And he's like, no. He's like, I go after the runner. No, you both go on the you both go after the runner. Basically, giving them direct shit to follow they can do their job correctly they just yep. need structure planning because obviously that's not in his vocabulary <laughs> but yeah i i can't wait any any final thoughts final thought is quick shout out to to michael and, and jay man like <clears throat> the whole time you know i had my eyes on mike I was worried that he was going to be Raw's puppet to try to bring down McNulty. But he never brought Raw's anything. Like, and Raw's was always on his ass about it, too. And he still never brought him anything. Even got to the point where he started actually doing his old cold cases. And was willing to go the extra mile to embarrass himself to go find a freaking <laughs> fortune teller. Yeah. Like, to me, that in, in my opinion, that means something, bro. Because it's really easy to... to to just sit there and be a snake you know it's easy to be mean bro. it's hard to be nice that's at really the end true. of the day so he could have sat there played his bullshit job you know kept messing up on 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 the on the spec ops missions and eventually shitted on mcnulty enough to where major rawls could have took him down but he didn't and then at the end he won for that you know what i'm saying they bunk and mcnulty looked out for him so i think that they well, no, I don't think they definitely converted him because he talked. He talked he to talked McNulty to him about that. Yep, he told him exactly. what Rawls was doing. So, mm -hmm. shout out to him. Shout out to Jay Bird as well. He's definitely. I know I had that comment about him a couple episodes where I was like, I don't know if he's like for McNulty or if he's like in the middle somewhere. Mm -hmm. But like, he's just a sergeant being a sergeant, man, doing his thing. And right now, it's looking positive. So. That's just my final thought. Shout out to Jay and Mike this episode. Okay. Man. You gonna end on the positive, I'm gonna end on the negative. So I just want Buzz to, you know, actually really consider getting clean here. You know what I'm saying? He's chilling with this dumb man. He's gonna get Bubs either killed for doing by doing drugs or getting into some dumb shit because of this this white boy, man. It's it sucks, man. So hopefully in the near future, man, Bubs actually takes that uh that actual step, that 24 hours, and actually get clean, man, because he's a good character, man. I wouldn't want anything to happen to them because of this dumbass white boy gets him into some trouble for doing some doing some dumb shit. <laughs> That's on Bubs, though, man. He created a monster. He did, but because uh, the way I see it, what's his, is it is it Johnny? John, John, I can't remember. I don't, I'm trying to remember the the white boy's name, but I call him the Jeff. way I saw it, Bubs was, you know what I'm saying? Like his, <laughs> I hate to use this word, but like his mentor, like that was his drug mentor. <laughs> like I'm gonna take you under my drug wing and teach you how to be an addict. You know what I'm saying? Like Pretty and then he much. created a monster where he taught him how to, you know, do the fake money and all that. And now he off the chain. Like so, like I agree with you. I don't want Bubs to get in trouble and shit like that, but. He need to let this boy lose. He he care yeah, about him too much. He keep him close, and he going he he might be his demise. I don't know, man. I, don't I, know. I I'm just praying he isn't. I'm praying something happens to this white boy that releases him off of freaking Buzz, and Buzz can go do his own thing. I don't know, you know, where his character development is gonna be for the rest of the show, 
you know, obviously he was a key factor in the beginning and initial parts, but seeing like that hat shit is not gonna be working for too long. You know what I'm saying? Because exactly. he tried it on uh on Bird. Bird was like, get this shit the fuck off. Me. Well, so, now nah, that that was the plan though. Yeah, that yeah, was- yeah. I know, I know. But you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's not gonna work forever. So he's gonna have to oh, find yeah. another way to contribute to the story. And I wonder how that's gonna be. Obviously, drugs and. Shit like that. So and he looked bad himself. today's episode too. Yeah, he looked real. That was kind of crazy. I was like, damn, dude. Mm-hmm. The nose, like a binge or some shit. Like exactly, the nose see? looked like he was hitting it like a little too hard. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, man, that's it, yo. We still by, we still blabbling on over here. This show's too damn good, it's man. A good episode, yeah. It, it really is. Episode, um, so if you had to score it, what would you score for? Uh, I think I'll just give this one a solid nine. I don't even want to put too much thought into it. Okay. I'm nah. I give this one a, a A5. I think it was a great episode. Can't wait to see what they do with these next three. You know, we're getting closer to that finale. Hopefully, you know, they put us in the right spot right there for the finale. We know these are a bit older shows, so we're, we're kind of curious how they're going to end, you know, these season finales. Is it really going to leave us off with a bang? Or is it going to, you know, just continue just giving us good writing and a uh, uh, great... Uh, direction and editing and all that because this episode definitely had that so if you're still here man we appreciate each and every single one of y'all that's still rocking thank y'all for real for real man y'all keep this channel moving in the right direction man so if you haven't already like this video comment down below let us know what you thought of this episode don't forget to subscribe goal is 10k f double r out Peace. I got my mic on this time, guys. <laughs>